Be careful who you surround yourself with. Choose your friends wisely. You know, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Hi, everyone. I am your economic friend. How are you all doing today? You guys having a good day today? Have you guys had a chance to, to get outside? Have you been able to look up at the sky? Take a nice deep breath. Some of us live in the city and uh, some of us don't have the best of clean air. Where I'm at, we got some nice clean air. We had a nice storm come in, blow out all the dirty air, and uh, we got some snow on the ground. Beautiful day. Sun came out about an hour ago. Absolutely loving it. It's a great day. It's Friday. Looking forward to the weekend. Okay, enough of that. Now, as you can see, I've got the uh, silver chart uh, here in front of me. Spot price, troy ounce. We're just in the low $22. Uh, a couple days ago, we, we did uh, dip down. Uh, it didn't close at, at that, but we, we did get below the $22 mark. I think it was like $21.88 is where I saw it. I, I had a chance to watch uh, some other YouTubers uh, to see other people's comments. Um, to my surprise, uh, so, some panic out there. There's some panic out there. I, I, I don't understand it. I, I don't get it. Why are people panicking? We should be celebrating, in my opinion. You know, we want the, the price to go down. Now, we all know what's coming. We, we all know the state of our economy. We know the state of the, uh, the U.S. dollar. We know that hyperinflation is around the corner. It's just a matter of time. It's not a matter of if. It's just a matter of when. Now, a lot of us have been expecting this for a very long time. Some of us are kind of new to this to this game. A lot of us are new to, to our eyes being opened, uh, what's going on behind the curtain, right? So I, I, I want to pose a question here. With When things are continuing to remain afloat, while they, the feds continue to kick the can down the road, why would we get upset when we see the spot price of silver and gold going down. It is of my humble opinion that if you're wanting gold and silver to skyrocket and go up in value, I think you're you're in the gold and silver business for the wrong reasons. I want the prices to come down. This is a good thing in my opinion. I, I you know the reasons is, is irrelevant to me, but I want prices to come down. Why? So that I could buy more at a better price. The weakening of our dollar, everything else is getting more expensive. And to see silver come down in, in, in spot price is a good thing. I know what a lot of you were thinking. You were thinking, well, economic friend, like you've said in, in previous videos, which I have, you know, as we see spot price go down, we're really going to see the premiums go up. So therefore, there, there's really not a very good deal. Well, I beg to differ. Not everybody's following these charts. Not everybody has a full grasp and a full understanding. Guys, there's still good deals out there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and share something with you guys that some of you may not be happy that I'm sharing, but I'm going to share it anyway because that's the benefit of coming here to Economic Friend, right? If you watch my other videos, I give you little tidbits, every little hints every now and then, things that, that I do personally to find a good deal. All right, so guys, here's what I here's what I do, okay? Here's what I'm going to share with you. eBay is a great place to go and to find good deals. And I'm going to tell you why. They go to the spot price to find out how much spot is and then they base it off that. So you're usually you're knocking out the premiums, okay? You're knocking out the middle guy. And in some cases, you know, hey, if somebody uh, is, is selling silver at a lo good low price, lower than they should, well, there's nothing wrong with, with taking advantage of that opportunity. You're not going to go and tell somebody, hey, you know, you're selling something for two less, unless it was a kid, right? You know, you'd feel bad if a child had something under, under you know, a lower price. You might want to inform that child and, and educate that child. But hey, if you have an adult out there, you, know, you don't know their reasons. You don't understand why they're trying to sell something at a low price. Maybe they're desperate for money. Maybe they just need to sell it. So here's what I do. I go to eBay. See, there's eBay there. I'm not signed into my account because I obviously want to keep my, my account private. Now, is what I like to do, so I'll just go ahead and start over. I like to go to silver proof sets. Silver proof sets. Now, you, 
I think you're wasting your time in the auctions. Now, sure, yes, you can still get good deals with auctions, but that's, you know, for another video for another time. But I'm going to share with you what I, what I do, what I like to do. Is what I do is I select the criteria of buy it now. So these are listings uh, where people have a set price. So you're not bidding. It's not an auction. It's just set price. Bam. You can buy it as they list it. Now, the other thing I do is I go over here to this criteria. See where it says best match? I go ahead and scroll down to the newly listed. Now, is what this is going to do is it's going to bring up a list. Now, we got over 9,000 results of silver proof sets. It's going to list at the very top. The very first is the newest listing. Okay, so as you can see, where I'm at, it's 1044. That This was just listed at 1044. This one was listed at 1033. This one was listed at 1032, 1032. 1019, 1018, 1012. Okay. Now these, now a good deal is going to pop up and then within one second or two seconds, it's going to be gone. I'm telling you guys that there are probably, I, I really probably shouldn't guess how many, but I'm going to guess anyway. If I had to guess, there's probably, and it, it varies during the time of the day right? But it's, it's, it's all fair game for how many, how many people are, are listing this stuff too. But if I had to guess like right now at 10 44 AM in the morning, there's probably going to be somewhere between 20 to maybe 50 others like me just constantly refreshing their page, looking for somebody to pop up a deal at a very low price. And believe me, I, I don't get to do this all day. <laughs> I'll, I'll come on here. I'll come to eBay and I will check this out uh, on my, usually on my phone during my lunch, during the evening time. Uh, wh whenever I have a chance where I have some downtime, I'll just open up my eBay app on my phone and I'll just go to my silver proof sets. I'll select the buy it now and then the newly listed. And every now and then I'll just get lucky and someone had just listed something and I'll get to snag it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to refresh my page. You probably can't see it because I can't, for some reason I can't, there, there we go. Okay. I'm just going to refresh my page. Okay. Nothing new has listed. Now, of course, now a lot of you are retired. A lot of you have some time on your hands. So th this would be a, a you know perfect way for you to score some really good, ridiculous deals on some silver proof sets. Now, let me, let me, let me uh, say something. Why do I like these silver proof sets? Okay. I'll share with you why I like these silver proof sets because they're absolutely beautiful. And a lot of these are, are still 90%, just like the junk constitutional silver that we are trying to get our hands on right now, right? But these silver proof sets, they're absolutely beautiful. So before I jumped on here and started recording this, I want to go ahead and show you guys what I found just as an example. So this was an auction. Now it's already gone. Somebody had already snagged it, okay? But this, this here was on this list just moments ago, okay, you see this listing right here? You see this guy? He's got this 2017 uh, minted in America, the beautiful quarters, silver proof set with box. And it looks like he doesn't say it on here, but he's got the certificate of authenticity. Who cares? Not for what I'm going to do with the silver. Now, $30 is, is probably about what you would pay. Uh, it says free shipping. So you're only paying $30. $30. But you are going to pay tax, okay? Uh, eBay is going to charge you tax on this. But th this is not a bad deal, but this is definitely not a good deal today. Uh, but if you wanted to get it, I mean, obviously you can get it. But this same seller just had two of these. The seller had uh, two 2017 proof sets with just the quarters. These are five quarters. That's how much came in the set. He had this one. I don't know if it's a he, but he or she just had this one. And then they had another one that was listed at the same time as this one. Now, what was the difference? I'm going to show you. Here it is. 2017 United States Minted America, the Beautiful Quarters, Silver Proof Set with Box. Da, 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 da. Okay. This seller, this, this gives me confidence. This guy's got 100% positive feedback, but he's only got 210 feedback. So this is, guy is not a professional we could look at his profile to see what else he sells. He probably sells, maybe he sells comics. Maybe he sells, uh, you know, other collectibles. I don't know. But he's obviously not very experienced in the silver uh, collecting. So here's what he's got. He's got the same proof set, but what's his disclosure? 
his disclosure is that this set is blemished, okay? He's warning everybody. He's disclosing, which is perfect. You know, that's what you need to do. But in the description down below, he explains that this proof set is is blemished. Now, what does he... So here's here's the, uh, the, the first picture. So I'm looking at this thing, and I'm thinking, you know, blemish. What is he talking about, blemish? Maybe he's talking about uh, this uh, little black line up there. I don't, I don't know. Let's look at some more pictures here. Guys, he's talking about this. There must be some moisture in that, in this container, in this case. You see that? He's got the backside here. I don't see anything wrong with these quarters. These quarters look a whole heck of a lot better than what you'd pull out of the junk constitutional pile at the local coin shop, right? The only thing wrong with it is that there's a blemish right there. You see that? It's probably moisture. Somehow moisture had gotten in there. But man, these quarters look like they're in perfect BU condition. They, they're in the original case. That's the only thing wrong with this. And this individual was selling this for just $22. Buy it now. Boom. Now, I can't click on buy it now because it's going to tell me that it was sold. As I refresh this page, it'll tell me that it's sold. I'll do that here in a second. $22 for a $1.25 proof set. Now, this is a better deal. Now, a lot of us are going to local coin shops right now. We're probably, today, you might pay, maybe pay around $19, uh, probably a little more. Some of us are paying more. A lot of local coin shops are, are keeping their premiums up a little higher. But if you've been buying junk constitutional silver, you have got to see and know that this is not a bad deal. $22 for a $1.25 face value proof set. They're in beautiful condition. Brilliantly uncirculated silver proof sets, $1.25 for just $22. Now, the, the shipping and handling, there is, it's free shipping. As you can see right there, free shipping. Now, there would have been some tax, so you would just add on a little tax, but that's still a good deal. Now, I didn't swap this because I wanted to use this as an example, but if I go back to where I was, you can see that's no longer on here. Somebody else had snagged it. Now, if you want to buy one that, that has no blemish, you're looking at paying $30. This guy wants $30 because it doesn't have that little moisture uh, pocket in there, that little blemish that he called it. If this little blemish bothers you, Pop it out of the case and, and put it in your junk junk constitutional <laughs> silver. I would might maybe put it in a, in a roll or maybe put it in a little flap or something uh, just to keep it. But my point is, as I've mentioned in previous videos, you know, we come to a state of bartering. Somebody's going to get tired, maybe. I don't think so. But someone may get tired of getting junk constitutional silver. And they may come to the point where they may say, hey, I want something different. I want something that looks pretty. I want something that looks beautiful. And then here, you got these. You got something that looks a lot nicer. You got something that looks a lot prettier. So this would be this would have been a good buy. Now, I'm going to refresh the page, and it's probably going to tell me that it's been sold. It's no longer available. There it is. See? Listing has ended. So somebody else had snagged it for just $22. Not a bad deal. If you got some spare time on your hand, you're looking for a good deal, go to eBay, ebay.com, open up an account. That way you're ready to buy. All you got to do is just register. It's easy. It's free. It don't cost you anything as a buyer. Put in silver proof set or whatever you're looking for. I will forewarn you, you're really not going to find any good deals on, of gold on here. You might have to go to the uh, jewelry uh, category. Maybe, maybe you might find a good deal, find somebody who's just trying to pawn or trying to desperately get some money uh, for some gold jewelry. But then you're taking a real big risk. You know, you don't know the, the true care of, of a piece of jewelry. So you definitely want to be experienced before you do something like that. And I, I just don't advise that. That's not something that I do. But put in silver proof set. Do the uh, buy it now option on the criteria. Uh, newly listed Keep an eye out. See, there's been some more that have uh, gone up. We, you know, we got another one here, 11, 11.03, 11.05. So the opportunity is there. So if you got some time, you can just do something like this. Just refresh the page. Obviously, the more often you refresh your page, 
chances are you're going to see a good deal pop up. And as soon as you see a good deal pop up and you think, you know, gee whiz, that looks like a good deal, just refresh the page and you're going to find somebody who's just trying to get something away. They're desperate. They don't know what they're selling. Kind of like this deal here was, you know, this, this, this was a good deal. I've, believe it or not, I've gotten a lot better deals than this too. <laughs> now for someone out there, you might've been, man, I wish I snagged that for $22. That would, that would have been a nice deal, economic friend. But I'll tell you guys, I've, I've paid half that, half that for some perfectly nice looking uh, proof sets. So there you go. Hope you guys find that helpful. Uh, one, one other last thing I want to leave you guys with on this video is the, uh, the ratio, the silver and gold ratio. We're, we're at right at 80 right now, a little over 80. You know, this is something that uh, experienced uh, buyers uh, pay more attention to rather than the price. A lot of us don't get caught up in the actual price. You know, right here we're at 22, 17. I've said in previous videos, who cares what the spot price is? Just get it when you can, while you can. Uh, buy responsibly. But one thing that a lot of experienced buyers look at is they look at the ratio between the gold and the silver. Right now it's at 80. For every 80 pieces of silver, uh, it equals to one piece of, of, of gold. Uh, one troy ounce, that is. Now, a lot of people, a lot of experts say that, hey, if you're between the 60 and 80% range, uh, you can go ahead and it's wise to, to buy and invest in either one. If it dips below the 60, 60 uh, ratio, then, you know, obviously you want to, you know, invest, you want to invest and buy more gold. If it's over 80, you want to invest and buy more in silver. Now that that's not a bad target, but guys, you got to keep in mind, the Romans had determined that the ratio was 10, 10 to one. The United States of America, towards the beginning of the birth of the nation, of its independence, they, they set it at 12 to 1. Eventually, it went up to 16 to 1. And for the longest time, for, for over, I think it was close to 100 years, it was at 16 to 1. Right now, it's at 80. And it's been a lot higher, too. It's been up to close to 120 uh, not that long ago. Just, just last early last year, it was 120. Uh, that was a great time to be buying silver. But this is something that you might want to just kind of, and it, it's easy. You don't have to have this chart. Just do the math. You get your calculator. You put in the gold price, 1780, and then you divide 2216 if you want to get down to the change, and it'll tell you what the ratio is. Okay? So example, 22 goes into 1781 this many times, 80 times. So that's the ratio. So you don't necessarily have to have a chart that shows you what the ratio is between the gold and silver. You can just easily do the math on, the, on your calculator. But I wouldn't get so caught up in the numbers, especially if this isn't something that you lust after. You know, some of us, not, not, not me, I, I'm not very big on charts and numbers. I, I don't have the time. I, I've got other things going on during my day. Uh, so I don't get so caught up in the numbers. I just buy when I can. And I'm, I'm buying because I'm not looking to make a short profit, a short-term profit. This is to hold, this is preservation of wealth for me. This is long-term insurance. I, I can't help but think that a day will come where I will need this money, uh, this gold and silver for bartering with, to, for, for purchasing power, uh, for wealth. But, you know, there's a very good chance a lot of us think that our children may need this more than us. But either way, for whatever your reason is, you know, a lot of you want to have a strategy where you're buying high. I'm sorry, you're buying low and you're selling high. And then you want to get out and transfer your wealth somewhere else and back and forth and on and on and on. If that's something you need to do, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it, it's a great strategy. But that's just not the strategy that I play, you know. When, when it comes to precious metals, for me, it's, it's just the long-term investment. It's the safest, surest way. You can't go wrong. Gold and silver has been monies uh, for mankind for thousands of years. And it, it's going to come back. We've been stuck on uh, these fiat currencies across the world. And look at what it's brought. It's brought in so much instability, inflation, leading to hyperinflation, which I'm, I have no doubt is right around the corner. Now, I still do believe, now this doesn't take away anything that I have said in the past. I still believe that 2022 is going to turn some heads uh, with gold and silver. 
But what's going to make that happen is that hyperinflation and the economy coming crumbling down. And I understand that a lot of you guys, uh, you know, can can say that, well, you know, Peter Schiff and others have been saying this for years. You guys, you know, and, and, and as I mentioned in a previous video, there's a lot of friction. There's a lot of friction building up right now. And I believe that the, most of us can't even feel it, can't feel that actual friction uh, that is pushing uh, with our economy, with all of our commodities, with the corruption, the manipulation, and everything else that comes with it. So I, I feel it. I feel the friction. And it's going to give. It's going to slip. It's going to burn up. And I, I honestly do believe that uh, this will become more evident uh, this next year of 2022. I, I, you know, it probably won't be the early part of 2022, but it's going to happen. Tensions are rising. I, I, I honestly don't believe the general American public uh, realize the tensions that are rising from outside of our country uh, with China, Russia, many other other nations who want to see us fail and want to see us fall as a nation, uh, or at least they want to uh, surpass us. Uh, with productivity and with the economy, with wealth, power. There's a lot of friction, my friends, is my personal opinion. As I mentioned, I'm not a professional financial advisor. This is just my own personal opinion. And guys, I know we've all been hearing this for a long time, but I obviously believe that, you know, it's around the corner uh, with hyperinflation. And you know what comes with hyperinflation. The economy will go bust and things will, will, will turn for the worse. And for those of us who have silver and gold, the better prepared we're going to be, one, to avoid panic. But what's also important, as I, as I also share on this channel, is that we need to be able to share and help strengthen our community because it'll be worthless. If, if you're the only one that has silver and gold uh, in your community, uh, it's not going to be a good situation for you. So we need to try to find a way to funnel our friends, our family, our neighbors, our community to YouTube so that they can become informed, so that they can learn and understand the importance and the need to start having some silver and gold. And as I say in previous, previous videos of mine, imagine if everybody has some share of silver and gold. See, imagine how that would help reduce uh, the panic and help keep uh, order. No, no matter where you live, there's going to be, well, unless if you're in, in, in rural cities like New York City, you might be pretty far from a farm. But most of us, you know, we have the, the blessings, the, the, the privilege of, of being close to providers around us. You know, there are, there are lots of farmers where I live. There's farmers, there's all kinds of suppliers, but there's always going to be a place to go to get supplies. And I, I think, I believe that's the case for most, most of us Americans and even Canadians and Mexicans, uh, wherever you are across the world, there, you know, you might want, you might want to evaluate, you know, where you live, you know, are you living somewhere where you would want to be uh, in the S hit the fan scenario when, when things, when the economy collapses, where do you want to be? You know, you know, we're always being told to surround, you know, be careful who you surround yourself with, choose your friends wisely, you know, the uh, saying that everybody's saying now, uh, I don't know who the original, the original uh, sayer is, but, you know, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. That is so true, you know. So, my friends, these are things to consider. These are things to think about. I hope I've given you guys all some, uh, some insight uh, from myself uh, that I've even gathered from others as well. I don't get to take credit for everything I'm sharing on here, but I am sharing my own personal thoughts and opinions and my insight. If you've got comments, please share them down below for others to read, for myself as well. So I just want to thank everybody for, for your support. I want to thank you for being a part of this community. And I want to thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please give us a, a subscribe and uh, give this video a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. Obviously, it would help this channel to grow. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.